With the complete transition from Skype to Microsoft Teams, we're diving into a core function, how to make phone calls on Microsoft Teams. Whether you're new to Teams or just want a refresher, this video will show you exactly how to make audio and video calls on both the desktop or web version and the mobile app. Let's dive straight in with making calls using the MS Teams desktop application. The first and most straightforward way to make a call is from the Calls tab. You'll usually find this on the left-hand sidebar, and it looks like a phone icon. Go ahead and click on that. If you can't find it, keep watching for a solution. When you open the Calls tab, you'll likely see a history of your previous calls. To make a new call to a contact, you have a couple of options. If you want to call someone you've already chatted with or who is in your team's contacts, you can simply find their name in your call history or your contacts list here. Once you find the person, hover over their name, and you'll see a few icons appear. The video camera icon will initiate a video call, and the phone icon will make an audio-only call. Just click the icon you prefer, and you'll be connected. Now, what if you need to call a regular phone number? That's where the dial pad comes in. Look for an option that says something like dial a number, or you might see a dial pad icon directly on this screen. It's often located near the top. Click on that, and a familiar looking dial pad will appear. Simply type in the phone number you want to call, including the country code if it's an international number. Once you've entered the number, you'll see a call button. Click that, and Teams will attempt to connect your call. The process for making calls on the web version of Microsoft Teams is very similar to the desktop app. You only need to access it by going to a web browser and entering teams.microsoft.com. Now, let's switch over to the Teams mobile app. The layout is a bit different, but the functionality is similar. When you open the app, look at the bottom of the screen, you'll usually find a Calls tab. Tap on that. Similar to the desktop version, you'll see your call history. To call a contact, you can either tap on someone in your history or look for a contact's icon, often a silhouette of a person or multiple people. Tap on that, find your contact, and then you'll see options to initiate an audio or video call. To access the dial pad on the mobile app, look for a dial pad icon. It might be located in the top right corner or somewhere on the call screen. Tap on it, and the number keypad will appear, allowing you to dial any phone number, again, provided your organization has the necessary calling features enabled. Now, before we explore how to directly call other Microsoft Teams users, even if you don't have the dial pad enabled for external phone numbers, it's crucial to understand why that dial pad might be missing in the first place. If you're not seeing the calls tab at all, or if you do see it but the dial a number option or dial pad is missing, it, unfortunately, means that your account or your organization might not have the necessary calling features enabled. This is a common point of confusion, so let's clarify why this might be the case. If you suspect you should have access, your primary point of contact will be your organization's IT support team. For making calls to regular phone numbers in Teams, your organization typically needs a Microsoft Teams phone system license and often an additional calling plan from Microsoft. Without these, the dial pad won't be available for external calls. Here are a few key reasons why you might not see the calling features. 1. If you're using the free version of Teams or are joined as a guest in another organization, these advanced calling features are usually not included. 2. Your IT administrator can control which features are available to different users. They might have disabled or not assigned calling to your account. 3. Your organization might have specific app policies in place that restrict access to telephone calling within Teams. 4. Even if the licenses are in place, your user account needs to be voice enabled in the Teams admin center. Speaking of voice enablement, this is a step that your IT administrator takes after the organization has obtained the necessary licenses and calling plans. Think of the licenses as unlocking the door and voice enablement as giving you the key to use it. To voice enable a user, here's what an administrator would do. Go into the Teams Admin Center. Navigate to Users, then select the specific user. Under the Account tab, turn Enterprise Voice to on in the Assigned Phone Number section. So, if you're missing the dial pad and you believe you should have access, the best first step is to reach out to your organization's IT support. They can verify your licensing, calling plan status, app policies, and ensure your account is properly voice enabled. 
Okay, with that understanding of the dial pad out of the way, here's how you can directly call other Microsoft Teams users, even if you don't have the dial pad enabled for external phone numbers. You'll typically land on the chat tab. Search for and select the contact you want to call from your chat list or by using the search bar at the top. Once you open your chat with that person, look at the top right corner of the chat window. You'll usually see a camera icon for video calls, a phone icon for audio calls, and an add people icon for starting a group chat. Simply click or tap the video call or audio call icon to connect. To explore more Microsoft video tutorials, click this card. Check the description below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. If you have a question or need more help, leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist. Thank you for tuning in.